Konnichiwa Internet. Mm -hmm. We need that cutter board. We do need the cutter board. Need the cutter, but they have them for a reason, obviously. Konnichiwa, viewer. Otherwise, every scene would start with some idiot going, Is it on? Is it on? Well, that's right. I, I edit that out. I hope you've noticed that. I have noticed that, yeah. It'd be better just to leave it in once. Um, Andrew, you have a story to tell. This is where standing in the car parking area of the, um, the Dormy Inn in Nagasaki. Dormy, Dormy, Dormy Inn Premium. Sorry, the Dormy Inn Premium. Ikimei, because it's near the station in uh, Nagasaki. But just let me point out, this is the car stack entrance. You look out of it so you can see the height of the whole thing. And then, okay, we'll just pan slowly up, and you can see it's pretty. It's a pretty substantial old car stack. It's got three different garages, like the one we're standing in front of. There's eleven. There's eleven stories. Eleven stories. Three or four cars. So it's probably fifty cars. Oh, easily because they're too. They're too wide. Oh, and, and the reason they're too wide, they can fit too wide, is you can see the dimensions over there. You can't have a car that's more than 800 and, 1840 millimeters wide. Which, as Andrew would tell you, that's the width of the car we've just bought, which is a very narrow car in Australia. There are not very many that width. You would not fit. 80% would not cars. A Hyundai Tucson. You would not. No way Andrew, in the world. Would you fit a Mitsubishi Delica Mini? Uh, oh, yesterday oh, <laughs> we saw the new Mitsubishi Delica Mini, which is actually 1240 Can meters you wide. Can you splice this bit? I can. A bit about the, can. when we we're at the car dealership. We went to a car dealership. We went to a car dealership. Very, very hot star. Yeah, it's so you funny. It is so funny. It. So, um, yeah, so today, we're actually, it's actually pretty early, isn't it? We haven't checked anything about Nagasaki. No. Yeah. Well, yeah. How we can might we do that? Well, we can do something about it. We've that. had a great time, and Nagasaki is beautiful. It is. And the people who dropped the bomb in 1945 were really very, very silly. Yeah, they were. It's a, it was a terrible... We went to the museum yesterday, one of those museums that really sort of um, makes an impression on you. Um, but the city, the city's really great. We had a wonderful time. We had fantastic weather here. Ah. Beautiful weather. Great bars. Great bars. We did have trouble getting dinner last time we were. There was a couple of restaurants that didn't really want us because, you know, you know, anyway. Yeah, they were, all of a sudden they were full. All, yeah, all please, reserved. All tables reserved. Please get out of our restaurant right now. Uh, but we did find somewhere. We had a lovely meal uh, and it's pretty early. It's um, 6.30 at the moment. We're heading off right now to... A ferry. A ferry to cross the... Arikame Sea. Because we're going off to Shikoku. Yes. So we've now officially... No, 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 today, today we're still on Kyushu today. Oh. Beppu. Oh, Beppu. Beppu. But because of the, oh, the, the oh, shape of this... getting the ferry to the next island. No, no, we're doing that the next day. Oh, more ferries. second ferry. Ferries. Two ferries. Oh, geez, this is I love this itinerary. This is a two ferry. Anyway, so we're still in Kyushu. I'm sorry, tomorrow I'll be saying, oh, we're leaving Kyushu. Yes. I'll say, hey, hey. Kyushu's been very, very nice. <laughs> and another day, it looks like it's going to be another beautiful day. We're heading off early. We've got to get down to the port. We've got for two minutes. We have to. See ya. Three minutes. Bye. We're about to enter our 171st tunnel, Andrew. Did you hear that, viewer? 171 tunnels. Um, we're just making our quick escape from Nagasaki this morning. Um, we, uh, we're on our way to uh, Shimabara to catch the ferry. It's a nice morning. Traffic doesn't seem to be too heavy. All is well. We've loved Nagasaki. We have loved Nagasaki. We really have. Very, very pretty place. Built around a hill around a harbour, much like Wellington. Yes, yes. Well, we're arriving at Shimabara Port. So find the ferry terminal. There's a ferry over there. We've missed the fast ferry, unfortunately, by a matter of minutes, which is a bit of a shame. And that's what we we're aiming for. Let's just jump on any car ferry, Rob. Okay. See where it goes. See where it goes. Go ahead. I'm going to put a ticket somewhere. Hey, hey. Don't know what it was all about, but um, presumably we're going to pay on board. Yeah. Although we're just holding this ready for us, Rob. Oh, I hope you got all that on camera. I did. Well, we made it. 
finally found the way into the cabins. Everything had been closed off because we were so late on board. They were ready for departure. Breakfast. Breakfast of champions. Order two coffees and we'll... Two coffees and, and we're going to have two of the premium hot sand. Hey, and that will make them hot sand. Rob's already enjoyed his um, prawn, prawn mornay roll, called a hot sand. As we sit on board, the, well, we're on a ferry to the motor, we don't know exactly which one. It was the one that was ready to go when we arrived. We rolled up at the um, ferry terminal. We had been hoping to catch the 8.25 fast ferry, but we got there at 8. 30, 8.35 and we were waved in and told the Japanese Did you get any of that on the boat? Uh, I did, did you? So you'll, you'll have seen it you already seen it. Waved on board, straight on board They rolled them back up straight after us Ride the bikes down Park next to the cows and We're um, enjoying a breakfast of champions on board We have no idea how long this ferry takes but it's going to be faster than waiting for the 10.15 car ferry. <clears throat> so we've uh, left uh, Shimabara behind us and we're crossing the uh, Ariake Sea and uh, just ahead of us you can see Kumamoto uh, which is where we will disembark uh, and then we ride from Kumamoto uh, to Beppu in the Oita prefecture but in between is Mount Aso which is a active volcano uh, or at least part of a series of active volcanoes in the area so it's a beautiful day the roads will be dry the views will be spectacular and the roads will be I suspect a lot of fun uh, so we'll get there in about uh, 15 minutes this ferry takes an hour to do the crossing We uh, have just uh, left Mifune, we've basically sat in traffic I think since we got off the ferry at Kumamoto, we're now entering the mountains, immediately it's beautiful and uh, hopefully less trafficked, although we do have, be disappointed otherwise, a micro vehicle travelling at 40 kilometres an hour, um, they will be our friends all day I'm sure. We have a we have a pace bike in front of us, so leading us up the road. That's excellent, isn't it? So we'll find out what a Jap we're assuming he's Japanese. Assuming he's Japanese, we'll find out what the local what he thinks of the speed limit of riding course. customs are. Well, he's he's currently doing seventy one in a forty zone. So so far we're consistent with that. Yeah. And uh, for the for the, our viewer, we are. Um, heading up to a road which is called Kenny Road um, named in honour of the uh, MotoGP rider Kenny Roberts who uh, rode this road whenever he could um, Warren from MotorcycleParadise.net says it is not to be missed so hopefully we won't now our friend in front is he's, you know, he's keeping a nice pace but it's not a silly pace oh this is gorgeous we now are on the famous Kenny Road named after Kenny Roberts the MotoGP driver not Kenny Rogers the country and western crooner and we're just checking out this sign because it doesn't seem to have bothered any of the locals but it's places it can't pass through beyond Jizo Pass towards Minyamosa. Well, I reckon we just go as far as we can. Okay.
okay. This is where we stop. Aha. Okay, that's not so cool. I'm uh, probably not a bad spot to have a bit of a break, you reckon? Yeah, let's just have a little break. Because we're going to have to remap as well, aren't we? Yep. I was just going to say, we, we stopped just a little while ago for a bite to eat at a little bakery um, in a place with no name. And um, we had the specialty, which was uh, a beautiful beef sort of um, and rice dish. And it just reminded me that this area seems to be quite uh, known for its beef production. And we passed uh, a beef farm when we were on Kenny Road and now lots of glass houses things other than rice being grown green vegetables I don't know where they end up I don't see those very often exported exported possibly and uh, we just had to take an alternative route because we went as you will have seen earlier in the uh, video up the beautiful and famous Kenny Road only to find it um, uh, blocked uh, so we had to turn around and come back we're now making our way along Oop. route 28 well we meant to turn there by any chance nope um, route 28 which will join us up with um, the route that we're on across the road. Ah, uh, woohoo! Yeah, 11, point 11. You, yeah, yeah, we're heading to point 11, yep. yep. Oh, some cows. You don't often see free-range cows. Cows on my side. There's, uh... Careful, that guy in front was breaking to yeah. have a good look oh, at Oh, look at them all, aren't they cute? They're a pretty colour. There is the caldera of one of the volcanoes. Not too sure exactly which one. But... Um, just came around the corner and it was there in front of us and it's very impressive Scary. But we may get a better view you never know if not you'll be seeing this video how's your sparkling what is it? Sorry, it's sparkling ice coffee ah, sparkling it was made with mineral water yes and, and uh, is it taste sensation sensation. I have a um, much more conventional hot dog coffee. So we're in the uh, we're in the Edo period. The Edo period here. We're in the Yufun Retro Motorcycle Museum, and it's just one of those classic collections of random stuff with a central theme being motorcycles. Um, that's all sorts. <laughs> It's everything, here you are. Old television. Wow. That looks like a Sputnik up there, but it's probably a rice cooker. James, is that a rice cooker? Never go home without one. Um, and there's actually a yeah, look at an old old Honda 1975. Wow. We're descending into Beppu, which is on the coast here of Kyushu. And a from some angles, you can see across the sea, off to the left, you can see across, I think, to Shokoku, which is the other island that we're going to tomorrow.
My recollection is it's on the right hand side. Oh, could be this stony one here. That looks A like it's in the right spot. B that looks Rio Khan like. It does. Perfect. We just had somebody come and collect our bags and take them in, so um Are we thinking this is fancy. This is fancy. Isn't that's the first time. Well, it's not, actually, that's not the first time that's happened. No, it's not. We're, we're actually quite used to it. Okay. Here we have a little bit of this Large. Oh, wow. Here we have a bit of Socks? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> pink. There's some pink socks there. We've had to choose our own yakata paint combination. Rob's gone for a very bold grey and pink. We're at uh, Ryokan Nago Mitsuki, and uh, this is my room. This is quite fancy. Quite fancy. They were expecting two per room, so we've had that little discussion, um, but wow. How good is this? Per perfect combination, Japanese style room with a really, like a bed-like futon. That will be wonderful. And how about this? This is my private bath. It's a public bath downstairs, but we've got this little outdoor bathroom. Very, very nice. And I feel Dinner is going to be quite special tonight. We've been told it starts at six. No negotiation about that. And it takes a long time, we were told. Whoa! Come by. Come by. Very nice. How was your day today, Andrew? Well, he had a fantastic day. We had a fantastic day. Um, some of the best riders you've done. Early start, very early start. We were gone by 70, quarter to seven. Racing to the ferry. Racing for the 8.15 ferry. 8.25. 8.25, sorry, quite right. 8.25 past ferry. Um, we didn't catch the 8.25 past ferry, but we got there at 8.28. And we made it straight on to, and with the last people on board, the 8.35 slow ferry. Which was only 10 minutes slower. Uh, it was fine. Uh, half, an half an hour slower? Yeah, one was half an hour, one was an hour. But it doesn't matter. We have, it was faster than waiting for the next fast ferry. It was. Yeah, it was great. We bikes were safe, they got tied down. We had a nice we breakfast. Had a of, of a prawn roll. A prawn roll, prawn mornay roll. <laughs> Excellent. The first best thing they had Heated up in the microwave. And a coffee. And I guess they, they did call that coffee. And then when we got to the other side, so it wasn't, we weren't crossing between islands, we were crossing across a bay called the... Well, actually, we were halfway between the Ariake Sea and the bay of Shimabara. Shimabara. And then we had about a five-hour ride from there across um, right. to yeah. very, very high mountains. Through the um, Art Aso, Aso? Mount Aso. Yep, we are through the National Park, the Aso National Park, and past Mount Uzen, I think it was. And we saw one active volcano, yeah, it was like Caldera. Smoke coming out of it. Smoke coming out. But the, ro the roads were, um, we were saying before, the roads were some of the best we've ridden on. Um, best surface, dry. Wider. Yeah, wide. Yeah, wide. yeah properly marked. Properly yeah. marked. But there was a lot more traffic. So there was a lot more motorbikes, which is not so much of a problem. But a lot of those ridiculously slow. Fordini trucks things. And big trucks, actually. And a bus. So you did get stuck. So the flow got interrupted a bit. We had lots of good bits of riding. Yeah. But we, it wasn't continuous for the whole five hours. Um, but it was bloody fantastic. And the scenery was beautiful. So you can take it in summary. Bottom line, great day. Great day. Excellent. Come by! Come by.